to process cassava into gari. This video will guide you to know every step of processing cassava into gari for sales. If you want to make profit from cassava business, this video will be the most useful guidance. Good morning, guys. The time now is um, around 6.30 in the city of Ibadan. So this morning I'm going to farm market. And like you all know, farm market is usually starting by 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. So I can't come out when it's too dark. So I believe this time uh, people are outside right now and it's safe for me to also walk. So I'm taking you to farm market and guess what you're getting buying today? Guess what you're buying today? Yeah, we are going into Gary processing. I want to process my special Ijebu Gary. So I want to get my cassava. I'm going for raw cassava right now in the morning and um, guys I just felt I should take you along um, throughout the processing of um, the Gary Ijebu. So guys if you're watching me my name remains Oju or Lakwe Space and guys um like you all know gary is expensive and um sometimes it's hard to get the original jebu gary so i thought i should process my myself and for those of us that like um the jebu gary that special jebu gary so guys let's ride on so let's get to the market this early morning market so i'm just trying to get uh, a keke na pep right now and um, because of the market women rushing to get to that market they can hardly find a, a keke na pep right now but i'm sure we're going to get a keke na pep guys if you're watching if not subscribe please subscribe to oju or lacquer space don't forget to like and share guys Let's get inside the market. Welcome to today's Today 
where the bag of cassava is going for 9,500 naira. I have to buy it, I don't have choice because there is no cassava today in the market. The next step after buying your cassava is the peeling. Peeling of cassava to process into gari, you must remove the two layers of skin from the cassava. And you can do this by using your knives to peel off the skin. After peeling your cassava, you wash and clean the cassava tubers after peeling. The cassava tubers have lots of dirt and grit on them after peeling. You need to wash them off to make sure there are no impurities in the finished cassava tubers. The washing process is easy. All you need is just your water to rinse and make sure you are with the knife in case you missed out some parts that is left with the skin. And all you just need, just hold it. You have to rinse one by one. If you don't have the strength to peel and wash your cassava yourself, we have a cassava factory in Ibadan where you can pay them to wash and peel your cassava for you. If you want to process your cassava into fufu or into gari, we have a cassava processing factory here in Ibado. It's at Orita Challenge. When you get to Orita Challenge in Ibadan, tell them you are going to cassava factory. You'll be directed there. So I'm here to take the next step of my cassava processing. I'm here to grind right now. I have to grind it the same day that I peel. So that's why we have to, the next process now is grinding of our cassava. So we want to grind. So I'm getting prepared to grind the cassava right now. My cassava is here. I have them here. This is the next step I'm preparing to grind my cassava tubers. To grind these cassava tubers, we're using the local grinder. The local grinder is a traditional way of grinding using a rough melter to grind the cassava manually and there's something you have to know about it you have to take precaution when you are using this traditional way of grinding i think and i had an experience when i was very small uh, my cousin when we were grinding decided to i think he was trying to pick out a cassava tuber from the grater and um, his, his, his clothes got stuck inside the grinder and he was trying to pull out his clothes and eventually in the process of pulling it closed, his arm went through the grater and his arm was grinded, it was bloody. So you have to be extraordinarily careful when you are very close to this grater. But there are modern cassava grinding machines which is saver and easier to operate and more efficient. But they don't have that at this particular cassava factory. But I'm sure you can find them around. If you find them in your area, you can take advantage and make use of the modern cassava grater. I'm buying. 
I want you to note something. You can pay for every process at this factory. If you can't pack yourself, you can pay them to do this. But I just want you to see that if you can, if you have the strength to pack them out, you can go ahead. Please don't put your hand into the running cassava grater. It may accidentally injure the hand. It's better you pack the match with a long woundy stick. the match make sure you have your sack by your side and you pack them inside your sack once the match has been packed inside the sack the next step is the fermentation process the fermentation process is what really gives it the particular taste you want in your gary so the essence of fermenting the cassava match is to get rid of the hydrosanic acid, which is natural in cassava tubers. You must control the fermentation process properly because if you leave it to ferment for a very short period, it will result in incomplete detoxification and a bland product. If you leave the cassava match to ferment too long, it will give the product a very strong sour. Why we call it Ijebu Gari because of how long it stays during fermentation. Two thousand years later. So guys, this is the seventh day. I'm here to now roast the Gari. The Gari has fermented. I left it for seven days for the Gari to ferment. So this is the next step today. So grits is ready to be fried or let me say to be roast so guys to fry our gary cake i paid them here to do the frying for me so you need to pay now this is what happened the process of the frying of gary i bought this firewood myself that is i gave them money there to buy the firewood so i paid for the firewood and I'm also going to be paying her for frying the gary for me. So the next step is for me to steep the gary grinds to remove the lumps and fibrous roots it contains. So the aim is to obtain a quality product with uniform size. If you are doing this for yourself... All you have to do is to take out the wet gary cake 
and break it down with your hands it's a great experience you might want to do that but if you know you can't do it you can actually pay them to do this for you so when you do that what it will allow the grind of the gary you no know, using your stiver to steve the gary grits to remove the lumps and fibrous roots that is in the um the match guys if you're watching and you've not subscribed to oju olakwe space subscribe to oju olakwe space share this video make this video go viral share it show some love to this channel for this gary process this is something you can do especially now that gary is expensive in nigeria and this is the cheapest easiest food you can find on the table of nigerians and if you're not so busy if you're a sit down at home mom even if you're a student you can take your time out to go through this process it's 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 um with you can start with um as low as fifty thousand naira this is a business you can invest in and let me tell you you're going to make profit you're going to be making your money even with the calculation of uh, every step you are going to take in the process of cassava into gary though there are some parts that if you can undo yourself you don't need to pay for me i did the peeling myself i did the washing myself and i'm also i packed out the match myself then i'm steaming myself so every other steps whatever you felt is easy for you to do you can get involved to reduce the cost of production and it makes it fun it's easier to process now after the steep we have this fibrous it contains this fibrous that's like a stick form so like this part you don't throw them away it's still very very useful let's look at the marketing aspect of gary gary itself <laughs> don't need advert <laughs> it's a, a it's a product that you don't need to advertise once you tell someone that you have gary that is the ga cassava you process into gary yourself people will always ask for gary you at least say in nigeria who doesn't buy gary is that you take it as you take it as a flake to take with your granite or you make it into a bar as your swallow so it's a nigerian food that we appreciate we like let me not just say nigerian food let's say african food that we appreciate and we like so i'm trying to bring this to your view for you to look into the process of gary production and where you can also get your cassava so that you'll be able to go into the process you can bring it to this factory like i said earlier for them to do the peeling for you if you can't peel you can bring in your cassava you'll be charged and they will peel your cassava for you they will wash your cassava for you they will grind it you can stand there just all you just need to do is supervise make sure that you're following the steps you want to get 100 percent of the particular gary you are processing so that is the reason i stayed back i monitor all that i need to do but i wasn't here for those days of fermentation so i left it at um, the fermentation machine they have a, a, a screw a machine screw manually that they use in the fermentation process now this is the steel this is the steel for the frying of the gary and this is the wounding um let me say the wounding spatula for the mixing of the gary though i'm not going to be doing this i paid her like i said i'm not going to be doing it but i can just okay just look at the way she's going to do it but sometimes what i did i do assist when i felt the person is tired the person wants to stand up or do one thing or the other guys if you've been processing your cassava into gary 
yourself you can write it in the comment section i think this is high time we don't need to be lazy about cassava process into gary we need gary in the market we need want gary in the market and in your area you can write it in the comment section if you have gary factory in your state in your local area you can write it in the comment section for you can write your state write the area so that people that wants to go into the gary processing will be able to identify or know where they can get the factory around there i would so much appreciate if you can share this in the comment section for others but for those of us in ibadan you have them here at orita challenge we also have them also at omi adio you have them at omi adio then we also have them at oyo when you enter oyo town just ask for gary factory in fact it's not it's just is um let me say at the entrance of that town just tell them you are going to wear the processed cassava into gary i can tell of that of area around ibadan but i can't really say much about outside ibadan so please guys write in the comment section let us go into gary production so that we have excess gary in nigeria we have excess gary around us so when we have excess gary i believe the the price of gary we come down we reduce and by that we are helping the society the interesting thing about this gary sometimes when you get to the market you might not really get the very dry gary when you pack some gary they are not so dry because they are trying to maximize the firewood for this my particular gary I make sure my gari is dried. So my gari is not giving me that white color. I'm having this uh, off-white, that smoky color. It shows how much I like to fry. So when, you, when you're able to monitor your gari, you realize that your gari will be different from the gari in the market. And guys, um, I, in the core of this, my kids were with me. And I don't want to like, okay, this is only for adults. Let them have experience of how cassava is processed into Gary. <laughs> and so they are like, okay, my mommy, I want to be involved. I said, okay, fine. Allow your kids to get involved at early age. Don't indulge them. Give them that free will. Let them see how things are processed. So they were able to, with their educational um, background they'll be able to maybe mechanize or make the process more easier as we go on but for now this is the method we are using and look at the steve um, cake look at how it looks like before you start the frying process so my kids was like, oh, mommy, I want to also fry. I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> you can get involved and, um, you know, it's fun for them. It's fun when they see things being done. Even imagine how it's being done. And this is also part of education. I want to advise that you don't leave the processing of your cassava to those that will help you or that will do it. Don't just buy cassava and say, okay, go ahead, peel for me, do this and then do that. How much? It might not really profit you. My Gary was really, I love it. I like my Gary. This is my Gary. <laughs> Guy, let's get into Gary business. Let's make Gary surplus this period in Nigeria. So this is how my Gary looks like. Can you see? So dry and looks so neat. I'm so happy i got this gary so guys i want you to share in the comment section anytime you process your cassava into gary please write in the comment section or you message me now this is our fibrous and uh, what i will do with it is try and fry it after it has been fried you can grind it into powder when you grind it into powder grind it into label you see that label you can't drink it as gary but if you want to eat your beans, 
you can mix it with your beans or you can make it as your swallow guys i want to say thank you for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share till i